going on, so I'll in between be talking to the chat. Some thoughts with me, with Bill. Uh, there's been a lot going on in the chess world, I know, and so many other people have covered it, so I'm not going to do that. They do it better than I do anyway. I will talk about something that I found interesting. Uh, and it's been going on uh, for a minute, a few years, uh, I think, in, in the zeitgeist of chess. I'm kind of talking on my asshole right now. Regardless, cheating! The ugly word. The chess ugly word. The, the ugliest word. Ugliest word in chess. Hello, Ritu Raj. Ugliest word in chess. Yeah. Cheating. How do you know? How do you know when your opponent, when your foe, is cheating? This is, this is a question that uh, even grandmasters have have a hard time figuring out uh, and I'm gonna give a few a f give a few uh, ideas about it so of course I'm gonna mess up lots and lots of names I just watched a video uh, about a 14 year old which who cares how old you are right I mean apparently everybody uh, beating I think it's Kramlik Kramnik and you can find the video and such uh, on the YouTubes. Uh, it, it has some title like, Cramnet goes, you know, loses his cool when beaten by this 14-year-old. He doesn't lose his cool at all, in my humble opinion. Uh, he's obviously not happy that he lost uh, to this person. Um, Hard-fought game goes all the way to the end. Uh, as in, it's a full game. They're both obviously thinking shows their videos and how they think and whatnot. And yeah, Kramnik is not happy at the end, and I think he, like, blocks the guy or says, mm, it's dubious, and I'm going to call him a cheat or whatever. And Kramnik's been in the news a lot about doing this kind of thing, right? That said, it's a little bit of clickbait. He doesn't lose his cool. I do understand. And the guy is really good at chess. As both. Both are obviously great at chess. Kramnik is really good at chess. And so... He's sitting there watching this person play him, weasel his way out of certain moves, out of certain positions, gain the advantage, and just basically crush him. And he thinks that the guy's cheating, or he thinks at least that it's dubious. So the question is, if Kramnik is a GM, and he's had tons of you know years and loads and loads of games... You'd think that he would know or have a pretty good idea if someone is cheating or not, right? Because, I mean, who else would? I mean, Magnus Carlsen did the same thing, right? Or allegedly did the same thing with Hans Niemann. He plays him. He's like, eh, the guy's cheating. And it's Magnus Carlsen. But apparently, apparently being a GM and being extremely good at chess... uh gifted, if you will, does not actually mean you know when someone's cheating. Yet, how often have you been sitting there playing and you're like, it took him like two or three seconds to make that move. But five or six moves in a row. That's dubious. That's always the word, too. It's dubious. It's dubious. I don't know about that. It starts off with interesting, interesting move. Ah, H5, interesting. Mm. Now it's interesting. That's dubious. Right? I've done it. And <laughs> my rating's 900. So what is there to say about this? I mean, what do you have to do? You have to, like, do the analysis with the engine and say, well, did they play, you know, under what depth did this did this person play 99% uh, accuracy or 100% accuracy or whatever? How can you know? We'll set that off to the side. Why does this conversation matter? Well, supposedly, at least what I hear, the whisperings, the whisperings like a flock of seagulls <laughs> on the YouTube seas, whatever, is that there's rampant, rampant cheating on, you know, chess.com. That's what I play on. And what, what happens? 
So you play a bunch of people and they cheat. And I guess that's not fun because, you know, you can't win against the computer. Uh, they can play at low E, low. So low ratings against your rating, your specially crafted rating of 1300 or whatever uh, and drop you down really low because if they're 500 and you happen to be, to get you know bamboozled by perhaps one of your subscribers <laughs> to play them in a rated game you know what I'm saying then again it's just elo it's just chess.com elo so who cares it's not like it's your FIDE rating. I mean, maybe I'm making light of this whole cheating thing. Uh, I'm not trying to do... I guess I am making an apologetic for it, right? As in not a sorry, uh, and not really a case for it, but maybe uh, a perspective of, does it really matter? I mean, it kind of sucks if you play a bunch of people and they're all cheating and you can't win. You, know, you can't have a fair game or whatever. That is annoying. That is annoying. That's that's frustrating. I don't want that. But is it the end of the world? That light keeps changing. Is it the end of the world? Ah! If you're at a tournament, I, I see it. If you're online and it's a tournament, I, I see it. Because, you know, maybe there's money involved or, or accolades. Or if you win this thing, this tournament... That gets you somewhere. It gets you into a, a better tournament. I see you have something to lose. But if it's just a made-up number by chess.com, ah, is that a big deal? What that seems to me, again, maybe I'm wrong about this. Please tell me if I am. What it seems to me is more of an ego thing. Now, I got a big old ego. I'm just saying. I hate losing. You guys see it all the time. I lose chess all the time, and the people I'm playing against are not cheating, <laughs> okay? If anything, they're cheating because they're playing me because I'm blundering the hell out of them. I don't like losing. It sucks. It makes you feel bad. So I understand people getting mad. I understand Kranik getting mad, right? Or disappointed. But if there's nothing on the line but your ego, is it that big of a deal that some people cheat on chess.com? I mean, they're not getting better, right, at the game. You cheat a bunch, it's like, I will date myself really quick. Back in the day, okay, uh, there's probably a better example. Back in the day, if you had a Nintendo, I'm talking about the original NES, okay? You could get the Game Genie. Anybody know what I'm talking about? It was like this red thing. It had the Genie on it. And you put the put the Game Genie in the Nintendo. And uh, it gave you like all the cheat codes. And you could have like God mode and all this stuff. I had a couple friends that had the Game Genie. You know, in fighting games, you didn't lose any hit points. Uh, there weren't really any first person shoot first person shooter games not really but you always hit like the duck hunt whatever the fuck and I remember sitting there thinking you know watching them play after the the, the first little bit and being like wow you got to the end and won how fun is that because there's no challenge anymore now I do understand the idea of trolling and and, and having fun trolling I, I get that uh, I don't mean the bullying kind of trolling. I mean like, you know, taking the piss, okay? I do get that. Maybe someone gains a sort of, I don't know, delight in saying, ha-ha, I beat so-and-so GM at chess even though they were cheating, and maybe that makes them feel better. But they're not really getting better at chess. They're not having to do the heavy lifting of thinking through it. When they win, they know that they cheated, they know that they're lying. I don't know. Not everybody thinks the same. In my opinion, that would just get boring. I've never cheated at chess. Uh, and the reason is I got too much of an ego about it. I'm like, I want to win on my own. 
even when the chat is going and they're like, dude, it's queen D2. Oh my God, it's queen D2. I don't look at the chat. Or if I do look at the chat, I'm like, I feel like I should resign or something, especially if they give me a winning move, right? That's me. Maybe that's not everybody. So pulling back the Kramnik versus this much younger kid and their game. Is it okay to tattletale to chess.com? If you think someone's cheating, to be like, haha, I think they're cheating, you report them. Now, if I report somebody, I don't think chess.com plays to, and yet they probably are like, oh shit, Bill, he's saying that they cheated, so <laughs> they probably aren't cheating. We'll just take them off all the blacklist. You know what I'm saying? But if somebody like Kramnik says, hey, that person, is cheating. He's a GM, right? They're probably going to pay attention to it. Daniel Noroditsky mentioned this on his channel. It's something I really respect about him. His chat will be like, dude, they're cheating, they're cheating. And Daniel will say, hey, don't just throw that word around. You know, I'm not going to report someone until I've reviewed their game, I've done the analysis, and I'm pretty sure. Because if Daniel Noroditsky says, hey, that person's cheating, they're probably going to get, you know, the axe. So what's what's the moral story here? Should you be throwing around that report button? That, ha-ha, that's a cheater. Ha-ha, that's a cheater. Do you really know? Do you really know? I don't know. I don't think I've ever reported someone. Maybe. Maybe on stream. I don't think so. I don't think so. Closest I came to was uh, we had a tournament on the live stream, and the person won. Uh, they, I actually gifted them a sub, or not a sub, a um, uh, the little, I don't know if it was premium or gold or whatever, subscription to chess.com. And quickly thereafter, their account got blocked. And apparently, chess.com thought they were cheaters. And several people in the chat were like, oh yeah, they were cheating. And I remember thinking, does who reported them? Like, does does someone know? I mean, they won the tournament. They were involved in the chat. They seemed cool. This is what I'll leave you with, with thoughts with Bill. Before you go reporting people, maybe take a moment to think about it. You know, let the emotions calm down a little bit. Come at it with a sober mind. Uh, because it seems to me, at least, if people like Magnus Carlsen and, you know, Kramnik and, and, and all these different, I mean, even Daniel Nordisky, they got trouble literally looking at a chess game and being like, that person is absolutely cheating. I mean, even they have problems doing it. So that's going to be my moral high ground thoughts with Bill today. I hope you like it. All right. Now I'm going to look at the chat. <laughs>